Right, well, this is the top end of the garden where I've been making some charcoal. And I've made some softwood charcoal, which won't be tremendously good. And some hardwood oak charcoal, which I've been making in this tin can. And it hasn't fallen to pieces yet. So I might just get one more burn out of it. But uh, if you saw it going previously, you'll have heard it whistling out the top that I've, I made. So, and you can set fire to it, just like char cloth. That's the wood gases coming out. So I've put a little pipe on the top there. I've just uh, pinged it over on the back side. So that's the little pipe I've put on the top and I've just pinned it over on the back side. So instead of that gas going everywhere I can contain it out of this hole hopefully. And what I'm going to try and do is put this over because due to the air, the gas escaping at high velocity out of that hole it should also drag air in through these slits I've put in and then hopefully I'll get a little flare stack that will maintain its flame. I have been having problems in the past with uh, the lid blowing off so I'm gonna have to wire that on and then I'll probably make the last batch in here before this can gets worn out or burnt through. But uh, <clears throat> that's what I've got so far, that and that. I'll do one more burn. I still probably won't have enough for a future project. I'll have to think about getting a new can then. Or maybe some more of a, a bigger a, a, a bigger can because you can't get that much in here and what I'm using at the moment is this oak so I just stack all that in there can't get too much in I'll split some up so it's packed really tight That's uh, next door's chickens, just letting you know that they've laid an egg. So you, you can't. I'll get a little bit more in there, but not a lot. Uh, but it's surprising how long the wood gas is coming out for. And of course you've seen what I'm using, I'm just using my fire pit there, just getting that going and then with any old rubbish and then bunging the, uh, the whole tin in and leaving it for an hour or two, well more like two or three. all that tar coming out. I suppose that's your creosote. So if you could condense that steam, I mean it's not steam, if you could condense that smoke that's coming out, some of it will be tar and uh, some of it will be wood gas. There's probably uh, a bit of water vapour in there 
because this wood's been outside and it's been pouring down. That's probably why it won't light at the moment, because there's probably quite a bit of um, steam coming out. But that tar's interesting. Right, anyway, we'll count this as my Friday fire up. Although you didn't see how I fired it up. But uh, it was nothing spectacular. And my water's been boiling for a while. So it's time for a cup of coffee. Now I haven't got a percolator so I don't do all the beans and all that sort of stuff. I just do regular instant coffee one spoon will do some milk I'll put a bit of water in first Then put the milk in. Bit of honey. I'm just checking this is honey and not some paste I've made up for leather with turpentine in it. So the only unusual thing you could say about this coffee is it's made with a sterling silver spoon. It's got all the hallmarks on the back. Because uh, I take the importance of silver quite seriously. Obviously so do YouTube because they banned my um, banned my video on making colloidal silver, the actual making of it. They took that down has been inappropriate, so right, let's give it another go because it's starting to starting to get a bit noisy now. We've had a look at charcoal, charcoal making, we've had a cup of coffee and we've had a play with wood gas. So I reckon that constitutes a Friday fire up. And although I want the charcoal for something different, I'm sure we're going to look at wood gas again in the future. But I think this will be the last charcoal making episode I do on camera for a while. And I do think I need to make it a bit more efficiently because the small batches I'm making it in it's really not worth the time but that's how you start isn't it. I 
mean, this has been going a good hour now, so the amount of energy it's chucked out. But I would have thought it would have been self-sustaining. Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll catch you in a week or so.